Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Solutions and myself Abhishek and today we are going to show you how to flash Lineage OS on your Redmi 3S and Redmi 3S Prime. So make sure you are having an unlocked device with TWRP recovery. So let's get started. First thing you need is to download the ROM file which you can download easily from the given in the link description. So download the file, keep in your comfortable directory. You can also download the G apps that is Google apps if you need. So just power off the device. Then when it is completely powered off, hold the volume up key, volume down key along with the power key. As soon as you see the MI logo, just leave the power key first and then the volume keys. Then you can see TWRP recovery on your screen. Just swipe to the uh, just swipe it to the right. Just just tap wipe and just swipe. Swipe. Just go back, come back, just press install and navigate to the downloaded file. Just tap on it and just swipe to right to flash it. This will take few minutes to flash so please be patient. So after that go back, navigate to the downloaded G apps that is Google apps. I preferably choose macro for Google apps. Just tap it, swipe it to the right. But just when you're done, wipe the cache and Dalvik once and you're good to go. As you can see, the Lineage OS boot animation is appeared on your smartphone. This will take around 5 to 7 minutes to get started, so please be patient. Once the ROM has been booted, you will see some force close, but don't just bother it, it won't be troubling you after a few times. Which is next, next, yes. So as you can see guys, the Lineage OS has been successfully booted up without any flaws. Let's go into the settings and let me show you the Android version which it is consisting of. So as you can see, it is based on 6.0.1 that is Marshmallow. And uh, VOLT works out of the ROM flawlessly. There is no need to create a new EPN and all stops. The ROM is already rooted. The ROM consists of exposed installer with the firmware installed. So you don't have to break your head to find the firmware installed. The camera is working pretty fine, there are no flaws with the cameras as well as the video recording. So 
that's all for the video guys i hope you like it if you like this video please do hit a like over there if you don't like this video please do hit a thumbs down over there if you have any kind of questions please do hit them in the comment section below we will try to sort it out as soon as possible thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a great day bye bye now